Hey everybody! <laughs> I'm back with a, a review that I didn't think you would ever see from me again. <laughs> this is the Hair Adorables. This is hair, the Hair do Doodables. And um, this is Series 1. There are six dudes to collect across Series 1. Uh, this is a BFF, a BFF uh, two pack. I don't know if there's going to be a single pack with these Doodables or not. But I do like um, the BFF packs if um, because they come with exclusive dolls. This one comes with an exclusive DD. Um, from what I've been gathering so far, if you get a different girl, you get a different dude. So um, even though we don't know which dude it's going to be, it's going to be a different dude than, say, one you got with a different girl. It seems that that's going to be the case. So, um... Let's just take in a little bit uh, some of the box art. Uh, here is the exclusive Dee Dee. Um, her art artwork there and some artwork from the other boys. It does say that there's 13 surprises inside. So I'm going to guess that um, they're a, a division between her surprises and his surprises, but I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Does it say anything different on the side here? Yes, it says... Hair adorables, hair doodables. Get to know the newest hashtag BFFs, the Hair Doodables. Their, st their cool style and friendship is second to none. Each of our best dude friends have a look and passion that is unique to them, and they are totally hashtag style goals. Find your style, hashtag Hair Doodables. Hair Doodables channel on YouTube. And then on the back, we have some, some photos here. Looks like the girls have some ice cream, so I'm hoping that that's maybe something that they come with. Here's a cool guy. Here's another cool guy. I love this mohawk guy. And then there's a hamburger guy. I think I saw him on uh, another YouTube um, adore, um, review, but I'm not sure. And then that one's cute. On the back here it says the girls. It says doll in outfit and shoes, signature cards, accessory one, accessory two, Two doll stands, collector's list, two stickers, the dudes, one accessory, two accessory, shoes, and a signature card, and dude and outfit. So, let's just get this plastic wrap off and start this party. Okay, before I open it up, I found some more artwork on this side, and I looked down and I'm like, is that a hair doodle with a man bun? I don't know. So, there's a tear strip here. I don't know. If, is that a tear strip? Um, maybe? I don't think so, actually. Maybe not. Well, there's a tear strip here, so let's just go with the tear strip, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. I see. The tear strip opens up to that. Does that open her up? I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, hmm. What did that tear strip even do? I don't know. You know, if I wasn't blind, it says right here, open here, it's in Velcro. Okay, ooh, okay. There's a little scene here. Oh, and a little checklist. Do we want to check out that? We should check that out. Okay, it looks like this gives us all of our Hair doodles on it. Oh, so it has the dudes and the girls. So I'm assuming that maybe all the packs are going to be um, BFF packs. That's cool. So we have DD Zert. You know what? Let's just. That's the girl that we have. So we, we don't know this. This six boys to get. So one of these boys is going to be in this box. Whatever her BFF is. So, let's check out this little scene here. So we have um, this locker scene here. And a little podium. No, oh, this isn't a podium. You see what this is? It is a, a water fountain. And some cheerleader stuff. The water fountain's kind of weird. Because it looks like it's got a locker on it. And a hello sticker. Kind of weird. Maybe that's like 
a locker with the fountain popping up from behind it, so I don't know. Anyhow, let's go ahead and go to number one. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it looks like number one has our stand already. Uh, it's a neon green one. And it says hair adorables on it. I think these stands might be different than the stands from before. What's this part? Sorry, I was having a hard time finding the tear strip. Oh, okay. Here's some shoes. Oh, uh, hmm. So we have some, like, reddish... Oh, there's a lot of paint flaws in that. I hate that. That's kind of bothersome. But anyway, they're kind of like some penny loafers here. That have a black sole with a little bit of red paint on them. I guess he's been playing in paint. And then we have, this looks like the signature card for DD, D Dessert. And then motto is, there's always room for dessert. Ain't that the truth, Didi? And then Max. Is our BFF. So I wonder if that tells me that Max is going to be the one that's in here. I guess we'll have to see. So, um, oh, here's number two. And then here's the bottom of the other stand. So they're both green. They have matching stands. Oh, here is um, a piece of the stand. I, I hope we didn't not get the other one. So I'm going to be really angry if I didn't get the top of that. Okay. Maybe it just fell down to the box somewhere. I hope so. This one is really light. I don't know what's in here. This looks like a skirt or an apron. Is that the only thing that was in there? Um, no, I think there might be some stickers. So here's some stickers. This is BFFs. We have Melting Pizza. We have um, Bleeding Star, Bleeding uh, Zigzag. And then it says Hair Adorables, Hair Doodles. So those are probably maybe his signature stickers. Let's try number three door. Oh, here's the other part of our stand. All right, that's... I don't have to panic about that anymore. Yeah, these stands look a little bit different than last season's stands. So in here we have... Oh, what's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, oh! Hmm. So... It looks like a chopping board? With, um some cheese and some crackers and some celery on it but the other side of it unless that's two different accessories it almost you know what that is that is not an actual cutting board i think this is one of, it's like a phone cover and then there's a recipe on the other side but it looks like it's a virtual recipe i think that this is a a cell phone but the cell phone's got a cover on it that looks like a cutting board I don't know. I'm confused. Well, comment below if you guys think you know what this is, but I think I'm right. And then here's a picture of a really cool dude with rainbow kind of color hair. It's a sticker, I mean. A sticker picture. Okay, what's the number four? I can't wait to open up Dee Dee. She looks so awesome. Okay, what do we have in here? Ooh. Okay. So we have really cute sunglasses. And these sunglasses are a really, really light teal blue. Almost a green, I guess. I don't really know. And then there's a heart, red heart on one side. Oh, on both sides. And then there's, um, it's like a gold color on the bottom of the hearts. So that's pretty cute. I think these might be her accessories. I don't know. And then, look at this ice cream, guys. It's huge. So we have, it looks like mint, strawberry, and chocolate. Topped off with a little candy heart on a sugar cone. And there's a little hoop there, a little loop there, so she can actually hold it. It's always good when your dolls can hold their accessories, because if they can't, it's kind of a... I don't know, I, I hate 
throw in accessories that they can't. So, totally rad dude inside. So, let's check out to see who's in here. It looks like we do have Max. Oh, he's falling right out. And let's check out his little bio card here. It says, nickname, Snack Attack Max. Hobby, food vlogging. And motto, more cheese please. And then here is the back of it. Let's put Max's shoes and stuff on, and then we will show you more of Max. So here is Snack Attack Max. And um, one thing I did notice, I thought he just had this curly fro hair, and it's really, really, really soft, by the way. There's no product in it at all, so it's really... And it's two-toned, so if you look, you look, you can see, like, the medium brown, and then kind of a dark auburn, kind of mixed together. He has... A, it's like a curly mohawk, guys, because his the side of his hair is all shaved, it's well it's meant to look shaved and it's a really soft flock um it, it's super soft flock it's it's long flock so it, it feels so good um it goes all the way around you can see where it, here where it's flocked all the way in the hairline so it's pretty cool i really like his hair a lot um his outfit has a lot to be said now let's 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 start let's before we get to his outfit he has some really cute eyes that are looking up and to the right and they're a kind of a silvery, uh, tealish color, so maybe like a grayish color eye. Um, and then he has very subtle coloring on his lips, which is good. It doesn't make it look like it looks like a boy color lip and not, um, and not lipsticky or something. Uh, let's see. Now he has this shirt on that it has pizza prints all over it. So it's red, and then you can see, like, uh, pizza slices with um, a little bit of green and red and, and um, tan color pizza. And then he also has um, a light teal sleeve, that, uh, endings that go there. That's also part of the print. Uh, it's weird because he has that with flaming pants. I don't know how well they go together. I guess, like, they have that in common because, you know, pizza... Uh, you know, brick oven pizza. It's got the flames and they cook in the pizza. So I guess it kind of goes in theme, in theory. I just don't really like the look of them together. Um, so the shirt's more of a softer type satiny feel. And then the pants are more of a, a little... They're soft too, but they're more of a, a cottony type. Um, and then he also has these um, shoes, which I think is my biggest problem with him, is that the shoes could have used more paint so the paint is very it's kind of transparency so but not in a good way and uh it's it was sloppily put on so there is a little bit of red on the bottom of his sole i don't know if i showed you that good guys that good um there's a little bit of paint that's gonna show up here that's where it's not supposed to be on his shoe if i can get that to show up it's not going to show up for me. There it is. See? Now, um, as a collector, I noticed that kids probably aren't going to have a problem with that. And it's probably just mine. It's probably not like that in everybody's. But it's a little bit of a... A little problem. But um, overall, I mean... And then he has his little cell phone covered uh, cheese board. So that's pretty cool. And then that is probably supposed to be like a chef type... Um, uh, apron maybe because he's in the kitchen cooking that could very well be a regular cutting board that has like a I don't know a list on the bottom of it but I really think it's a cell phone or it could be like a new age maybe they have electronic cutting boards now that have recipes that you can look up on them I don't know <laughs> either way he's super cool I love him I'm glad to add a boy to my collection um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up her and get her accessories put on and we'll take a look, a, a better look at, um, DD Zert. So I opened her up and right off the bat, it was kind of like a, a doll collector's nightmare. Check this out. Her sculpt is right there. I don't know if her hair is supposed to be like this or if it's just like that in the box, but that's disappointing because the one thing with hair adorables is that the hair was always just so big and so luscious. 
to see scalp right away it's kind of bad but let me just see if maybe she's not supposed to be parted there so I totally messed my girl's hair up to try to see if I can cover it <laughs> yeah I shouldn't have done that uh, Alright, well, I think I kind of fixed it. I don't really know. I think... I wish that she came with a brush, because a brush would have now been in order. <laughs> it is... There's a lot of hair here, guys. A lot of hair here, but it's it's thin. Uh, it's long and thin. Uh, right here in the back, and it's not good. But I think um, it just... My girl, the, where they parted it, they parted it a little bit off, so... A little bit of the pink got put over here, which made it that way. So I'm not um, completely bothered by it. I'll just uh, brush her out a little bit. Add a little water. Water. Her hair doesn't have too much product in it, so it should bounce back. Okay, so I'm done being a complainer. <laughs> positive, positive. Okay, so her hair, I think it's supposed to be represented over the ice cream flavors that she has in her ice cream. So you've got the mint color here on this side with a cute little bun that swirls into the chocolate. That's in the middle here, and her bangs are so soft, guys. Um, so you got the brunette color in the middle with another bun. And then over here, you got your strawberry color, which is the light pastel pink that comes into another bun. These two colors are her prominent colors um, from both um, all three series. Uh, she also is wearing a heart top here with um, some tulle and some sparkle on the sleeves. If you can, and you can see, uh, she also has pink around the collar and pink around the end of the shirt or top. And in the middle, she has that um, mint, chocolate, and strawberry inside of a heart with more sparkles. I don't know if you can see the sparkles um, on camera. Then we have a kind of like a vinyl color right here that's representative probably of Trippy Fudge. And then there's another layer down here that's probably, that's, um, if you look at that, it's supposed to be like a cone. And the cone, like little, like, definitions, you see that? So it's supposed to be like a, a sugar cone. And then we have sparkle, uh, pink on the bottom around the edges. So you can see all that glitter. That's actually fabric and not sparkles, um. So there's three different layers of fabric. This is really gorgeous. And then her shoes are, this is one piece. It's supposed to be some neat, some uh, knee-high white socks with frillies on them. And then uh, some chocolate type color shoes. So um, she's really gorgeous. And then for articulation for the both of them, their arms go up and down and back and forth. And then her, their heads go back and forth. And then you can make them sit or stand. So they do have hip joints. No knee joints or, t or ankle joints, but it's not needed for a doll this size. Um, she's really gorgeous. I love her face expression. Um, I do like her hairstyle despite the bald spot that I found right away. Um, she's actually one of the most... I mean, Dee Dee is actually one of my favorites. I'm going to put her... Um, I'm going to put her ice cream on her hand and then put her glasses on and we'll see what she looks like. So there she is wearing her glasses and holding her ice cream. And I dare I say that when I put the ice cream on, I found a little bit of mint paint that was on the cone. So the so there was a little bit more paint flaws going on. Gah. <laughs> it doesn't bother me as much with the ice cream cone because, you know, ice cream melts. <laughs> um, so let's put them both together, both of our, t our BFFs. So we have DG Licious, and then we have Snack Attack Max. They're wicked cute. I really like this set. I found it at Target for $25.99. Do I think it's worth it? Well, if you do the math and split it down the middle, um, it's roughly $12.99 per doll, which is um, on par for the hair adorables. And um, you're actually a little bit safer on this set because you're getting a doll that you know you're getting right away um, with a mystery boy. Um, my theory, though, is that if you get a different girl... You get a different boy because they're they're gonna they're BFF packs, so they're gonna come with their BFFs. So these packs are co completely worth the twenty five dollars. I think uh, you're getting stands for both of them. You're getting accessories for both of them. They both are head to toe in fabric, 
outfits, and the 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 outfits for the girls are well, at least for Dee Dee is over the top, and the boys well they're new. And look at this hairstyle, it's awesome. Uh, I have nothing really bad to say about the dolls themselves. Um, they're always good quality. I'm a little bit upset about her hair, but I'm not that upset. It's it's a it's not it's not a that big of a problem. Um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.